Well guys, Saturday morning. We're on the walk down to the cow shed. I know there isn't a pleasant surprise down there, but I don't know what else we'll find. So, day three, 30 days of cabin. Look at that water steaming. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day. We're uh, currently forecasted for uh, eight or uh, 18 to 24 inches of snow starting tomorrow afternoon. So I'd say with how calm it is, this is the calm before the storm. Hey, quiet down over there, I'm trying to make a video. Just doing a uh, 7 a.m. check, and uh, I'm going to cut right to it. That far back pen, there's a dead calf. Uh, it was born dead, still born. <sighs> Frustrating as heck. Out of the same group of new heifers as the other one. But uh, I, I was reading online, and they say it's actually twice as common and heifers and uh, we got a ton of heifers that were calving out this year so I don't know if there's more to it but Amanda said she's seen feet come out at uh, 605 this morning and by 645 650 calf was on the ground and mama was licking it It's not small by any means, but uh, it wasn't even really a traumatic birth. So I don't know if we got bigger issues or uh, just horrible luck. Um, they say it could be mineral deficiency. And I bought these guys, I'd have to look, but it's been all of a month ago. And uh, they've been on full free choice mineral. So I don't know if it was that, if that was just not enough to get along. But uh, from when this one was due, this is 41, I believe. Yeah, 41. From when she was due, we're talking two to three weeks early, which isn't totally uncommon. But uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I think it's just... The cards we've been dealt this year um i mean it, i don't know if it could have been lepto or something like that but uh it sure is frustrating nonetheless but we'll get through it we're still well below the average death loss i <laughs> just hope we can keep it under the average and uh i've always said with livestock you're gonna have dead stock and uh, if you're perfect, you're lying. So I'm going to check these two, see what they look like, possibly let them out. And uh, we're going to do chores. We'll be on our way to a bread sale. So we're not going to bid crazy high, crazy expensive. I mean, I ain't going to spend over $3,000 on a bread animal. But uh, we'll see what we can get. The boss, my wife Amanda, already said no more heifers. I think we're calving almost, uh, I don't know, 25, 26 heifers this year. So hopefully we can find a nice, uh, nice group of young cows. Third, fourth calvers. I mean, even fifth or sixth if the price is right. But uh, only time will tell. Let's get on with the day. 11 cows, 8 calves. Ain't the greatest odds, but uh, you take away that miscarriage because you have no idea what happened there. There was no fur really even started on the calf. So that could have been a thousand different things. So 
two stillborns. It hurts. But uh, one thing that keeps the guy going is all these mamas left to calve over here. So, and then it's in God's hands anyways. So, we're just here to do our best and uh, live our best life. So, let's get to the cattle sale. Heifer number one locked up for tonight. Easy, mamas. Hey, buddy. Just checking on all our calves. Still just eight of them out here. Got a shadow. Hi, buddy. Well, we're back from the cattle auction. Uh, didn't get anything bought. There is definitely a severe shortage of beef in America right now. Uh, the seven to nine months bred cows, they probably uh, weighed up and killed 350, 360 head of them. And uh, to me, that's a shame when you could have a calf in one or two months. So kill cows, seven to nine months bred, we're bringing 2,100 to 2,300 which is just insane. Um, the good bread cows were a couple hundred bucks more than that. But it sure is a disappointment. They uh, weighed up and killed half the, they had 700 and some bread cows there today for bread cow special. And uh, they weighed up and killed uh, half of them. So uh, that's only uh, gonna solve the direct issue. But uh, when you killed that many cows, you killed that many calves. And what are they doing for production? That's just one sale barn, one sale. So uh, I definitely think uh, cattle prices are going to stay high a little bit longer than I originally thought. I think this fall is pretty much guaranteed good money for your calves. Although, <laughs> with being an election year, I wouldn't guarantee anything. But I think my wife got a little bit on camera. We got two heifers locked up. They look extremely close. And uh, I think we're gonna keep that holding pen open because there's a lot of them that look like they could calf tonight or tomorrow. And uh, at night, if we see something, we'll come out here and nab it and uh, put the pair in that pen till morning. But we have uh, 24 to 30 inches of snow coming, supposedly. I doubt we're gonna get that, but you never know. We'll be prepared for the worst and uh, hope for the best type of deal. But uh, yeah, that'll be the end of this video. I uh, really wasn't going to show you the dead calf. I really didn't want to, I guess I should say. Uh, and there's a lot of channels out there that hide that kind of shit. But uh, this is a real farm with uh, real problems. Anyways, that's going to be the end of uh, day three. 30 days of calving. We will uh, say we'll see you in the next one. In the next one. We'll see you guys in the next one. You heard it here. Talk to you later.